For the uh, items you'll need for routine cleaning, you will need two large basins, you will need some uh, non-abrasive enzyme solution on disinfectant, a 70% alcohol solution, coarse swabs, uh, your cleaning channel tube, a 60cc syringe, gloves, cotton bud, and some, uh, you'll also need some Vaseline just for putting on the endoscope uh, inlet and outlet and suction buttons and you will also need to make sure you have your airtight cap and the plugs that you need to put in for cleaning and also your airtight um, swig. Um, once the endoscope has been used, um, put it back on the cart like this and put some clean water solution in this tube and we're just going to suck this through and we'll just suck through a quantity of water just to help clean the working channel so now just aspirate a bit of liquid through the air water channel now we just need to disconnect the uh, scope from the pump the power, take out the suction from the barb and take out the air water supply. So, remove the umbilical and place it on the drawer. Do be careful with the light guide because this can be actually quite hot when it comes out of the light source. Now I'm going to remove the suction button and the air water button to replace the working channel um, cover with a waterproof one. And we need to then cover up the air water. With the cleaning valve. And to stop any liquid really getting into the umbilical, we will now put on a cap that goes over the air water channel. It's important for this to go on to allow us to pump the solutions through in a minute. And we'll also put on the airtight valve over the electronics, just in case there's any dribbles out the air water. So that's on. At this point we can actually leak test the endoscope. To leak test the endoscope, you will place this sphig over the airtight cap going over the electronics and then pump that up to the red line and as long as the pressure holds we have a leak tight endoscope. Let the air out the sphig and remove. transfer the endoscope to the enzyme bath to take, do the next cleaning process. So if we take it over, lay the umbilical to one side and wrap the insertion tube into the tray and just hang the handpiece over the back of the tray. As so. We'd recommend again just pointing out the best, even though this is completely airtight and leak proof, it's, uh, it would be best just to, for speed and quickness, just to keep the handpiece out of the water at this point. We then also transfer the inlet outlet caps to the enzyme solution we've made up here. We'll give the caps just a quick clean out of the enzyme solution. Also just before syringing through with your enzyme or cleaning solution just give the ports for the suction just a quick brush. We'll now just out. give the working channel a clean with the brush too. So just remove the airtight cap. Remove it. Now if we can just give the insertion tube a good clean down, taking care to be gentle with the rubbers, i.e. not stretching or pulling them, because this can cause your endoscope to uh, leak if, if you were to pull it and break any of the rubbers. You now use your channel irrigator set, 
we can now actually pump some of the enzyme through firstly the working channel and then secondly through the air and water channel. So firstly we put the thicker blue tube onto the barb which is the suction tubing. We place this one way connector into the enzyme solution and then adapter we will then suck up the liquid sixty cc is about fine to do and then we force this gently back down the tube we'll stress the word gently if you push it too hard you have a risk of popping off one of your cleaning caps we'll now just take off the blue tubing and we'll split the channel cleaning set and now the thinner tube will go directly over the air water inlet so that is the tube that when it's on the light source is the tube that blows the insufflation and again we will suck up the cleaning solution and again slowly and gently we will force that through the tubing. Once that is done we should now leave this for the length of the time that is recommended by the cleaning solution manufacturer. This is normally 10 to 20 minutes to allow this to work on the biofilms and all of the detritus etc that could be within your endoscope. So we'll take our air water suction cap buttons and put them in the fresh water to thoroughly rinse. We'll now move the scope from the cleaning solution into the fresh water to give this a thorough rinse. Taking care to keep the tube without over bending or flexing it. Get the enzyme solution out. We're now going to just do exactly the same procedure with the channel irrigator set and pump through fresh water now tw at least twice through both channels. So again remember to switch over the one way inlet into the fresh water and again pump and syringe the water through so it is thoroughly clean. Take out the clean buttons dry them. Right now just take out the fresh water it's now been thoroughly rinsed and remove it back to its hanging stand. Now it's back to the stand we're just going give to the, give the insertion tube a quick dry down externally. I'm just going to dry up before we put it back into the unit. Remove your watertight cap and put the umbilical back into your light source. Remember to move, remove the channel from your air water and refit. Refit your suction. You then need to replace the air water buttons. just replace your channel guide. And the last and probably most important job is we now need to just clean the very end of the distal tip. Now we're going to do this with 70% alcohol and cotton buds just to make sure that these very fine channels are all cleaned and there's no more muck or detritus on these. Just a little bit of alcohol onto the cotton bud and we will use that to clean thoroughly the distal tube. We need to take proper care of the lights, make sure they're clean. As I say, very lightly dampened alcohol, 70% alcohol water solution, just give the handpiece a nice uh, clean over.